I am kind of used to it coming from India, like uh, people uh, touching you, you know, just rubbing by your body or saying things. I tend to ignore them. Many people did not even know that my mom has one daughter, elder daughter and two younger brothers. So they mostly knew about my younger brothers. I hardly stepped out of my house. My parents are not supportive at all about my travel adventures. They would rather have me married, travel with a partner, than do it alone. I spend around 50,000 per month. That is my budget. It can be like one country in a month or two countries in a month at max. You enter the immigration and you are surrounded by all these men, uh, Taliban officers with their guns. They were like, no, you have to go back because you have no man with you. They were concerned how I would keep safe when I am inside the country. me a place in the officer's house. It was the whole family, the Taliban officer, his two wife, eight kids. We watched Bollywood movies at night. They gave me food and they knew that I am vegetarian. So they gave me vegetarian food options to eat. I was saying that without husband, it's difficult to get a bus. How much? 10 rupees. 10 rupees? Yes. It's kind of sad that uh, I am kind of used to it coming from India, like uh, people uh, touching you, you know, just rubbing by your body or saying things. I tend to ignore them. I met this uh, uh, one man from couch surfing. Many travelers use it to meet local people. He actually started um, touching me for no reasons, like, you know, just holding my hands, holding my shoulders. And I was like, it, it is not needed. But uh, because I have not grown up to say no to such situations, I just ran away. And this happened in Turkey. I was doing land border crossing from Thailand to Cambodia. The Thai immigration officers, they asked me for extra papers. And all these details uh, made me lose a lot of hours. So I had to book a stay at the land border at night. I took help from a local man and I gave, gave him my number. So he has any queries or anything, he can ask me um, for payment or anything. The man started sending me nudes at night. It was so disgusting. and. And like, it, it makes me cry like even now. The biggest challenge when it comes to traveling as a woman is the fact that you are a woman. So you cannot definitely sleep anywhere. If I don't feel safe, I don't give it a second thought. Like earlier, I used to think like, oh my God, I'm I'm losing out on experiences. Now I don't. I think that is very big. I start uh, losing a lot of weight and um, a lot of dehydration issue because I try to avoid drinking water when I'm traveling and using roadways. I don't want to get down in every pub and use every public washroom. Having access to internet. So you can stay connected with your family and friends, even if it, they're miles, miles away. Power bank, I think, is a non-negotiable thing. You definitely need to have a power bank and an extra small phone. And you can quickly make a call uh, in case of emergencies. But I feel that traveling has made me smarter in dealing with people, understanding their real intentions and keeping myself safe. I would have never understood all these things if I was staying at home. <laughs>